What's up, Coach Dan Blewett here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about why hard work is not as big of a factor in your success as a lot of people will tell you. So for all the athletes that have been watching me, number one, you're watching this video today uh, just after I've squeaked past the 10,000 subscriber uh, milestone. So number one, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Number two, I don't do this for subscribers. Like it doesn't really do anything for my ego, but it is a cool milestone and I'm flattered by it. And I appreciate everyone who tunes in regularly, shares my videos, likes them, subscribes, all that stuff. It's cool to see that my message is out there reaching people like you all over the world. And I do translate a lot of my videos into other languages and the subtitles. So it's a pretty cool thing uh, just seeing the kind of community grow here on YouTube. So for this special day, I wanted to put out a video that I feel is really important. And so obviously one of the big preachers or the big, the big preach is if you, if you hear any major leaguer, any high level athlete, any, you know, multi-million dollar entrepreneur, if they talk about, you know, what helped them be successful, you know, what helped them get to the NBA, what helped them get to the MLB, what helped them build their billion dollar company. And they'll say, hard work, perseverance, you know, like they really had to grit, like you don't get anywhere without hard work. And that's all hundred percent true. But what people don't tell you is hard work is not a recipe for success because here's the thing. So I played pro baseball. I had a hard road through pro baseball. Uh, I didn't make it to the major leagues, um, but I endured two Tommy John surgeries. I still get to play six full seasons. Well, six seasons, some full, some not. And uh, you know, the big thing was everyone works hard. Everyone in the major leagues works hard. Everyone in the NBA works really hard because they know how hard it is to keep that job. Every entrepreneur who's built a, a huge business and sold it or is still running, every CEO, every single one of them works super duper hard. So when you start talking to people who have achieved great things and they tell you the same thing over and over that hard work, hard work, hard work, it's not hard work. Hard work is the foundation. Hard work is required. Hard work is like showing up for class. You have to go to, to class. You have to show up. That's the baseline. Hard work is getting a C. What people don't tell you is that there's lots of luck. There's lots of opportunities that other people didn't get. There's lots of seizing on opportunities, which is, you know, you have to seize on opportunities when you get them. You might only get that, that crack in the door once. Um, there's also lots of innate abilities that people don't. There's also the right place at the right time. And there's also a lot of mental factors, which are not luck, um, that really come into play at the highest level. So baseball is a great example. In the minor leagues, it's pretty much common knowledge that everyone in the minor leagues, not everyone, but the vast majority of players in the minor leagues have the skills to make it to the majors. There's countless guys in the minor leagues right now who throw 100 miles per hour. Most of them will not become major leaguers even for one day. Most of them will not become name brand major leaguers. Most of the, of the players that make it to the major leagues never get past that first season. You know, they certainly don't make it to free agency where they've had six years of service time. And so are you start, do we say like, well, they didn't work as hard. That's why they didn't stick. Like, did they not, you know, they didn't put in the time and the effort. No, that's, they clearly <laughs> did all of that. The same as everyone else. Like everyone works hard, those high levels. Every entrepreneur that's built a, a successful business works really hard. But think of coronavirus. How many business owners out there had a successful business business and have lost it? They've gone bankrupt. They've had to close. Did they not work hard? Circumstances were what caused them to close. A lack of opportunity, a lack of a way out sometimes. And for every major league pitcher that made it to the major leagues and got their opportunity and, and pitched well or didn't pitch well and got another opportunity or you know got in the lineup and went over four but still got another start and still kept getting chances, there's a pile of players who got one chance, didn't make good on it, and got sent back down. Or they, I have a friend who pitched one uh, to one batter in the major leagues, got him out, never pitched in the major leagues again. Did he work less hard than someone else? Like, why didn't he continue to get chances? Why do other players get called up and continue to get more outings even though they don't play super well? Why does one rookie get to hit 220 for half a season? go back down the Myers and get called up the next year and someone else gets one at bat or one game and they're done. There's a lot of other factors that go into everything in your life that are beyond your control, that are opportunistic, that are just happenstance. I mean, you take any major league pitcher who's on a major league roster today and if he was drafted by a different team, there's a large percentage of them who never make it to the major leagues now because they're on a different team 
I mean, think about it as a, as a shortstop. If you were a shortstop in the Yankees organization for 20 years while Derek Jeter was the starting shortstop, you weren't going to be a big leaguer. And you're going to be stuck in the minor leagues and maybe beg for a trade at some point. But did that guy work any less hard? Like, why didn't his hard work result in him being a name brand like Derek Jeter? So my point here is not to hate on hard work. But this idea that hard work gets you everything in life, it, it actually is. A, it's a lie. Hard work is the foundation. You have to work hard. And when you do work hard, you leave with no regrets. Like, it's a great thing. Like, I don't have any regrets about my career. At the end of the day, I know that I could have pitched in the major leagues. I probably couldn't have stuck there. I wasn't quite that good. But I had all the stuff, and I had the mental toughness. Like, I could have done it. And there were guys that did it who weren't better than me. Um, I had two elbow surgeries. I lost four or five years combined from being hurt. Those are all major parts of opportunity and lack of opportunity. And I also wouldn't have gotten six years in pro baseball and had so many amazing memories if not for a bunch of people calling on my behalf, calling coaches and beating down doors to give me a shot at spring training. Um, I have some crazy stories that just like, how did I get so lucky to get another chance, to get another, another opportunity? It's astounding. So even though some of my doors were closed, many other doors were opened by luck and by opportunity and just being the right guy in the right time and fitting on a roster. You know, you could be a left-handed pitcher on a team where they just don't need another left-handed pitcher. You could be the third shortstop and be a potential D1 player one day, but they already have two stud D, you know, D1 commits in front of you. So you're not playing, you're not playing third base. There's so many things in life and in sports that are beyond your control that hard work will not fix. Now, again, my message in this video is not to say don't work hard. You absolutely want to and need to work hard, but there are many other factors, including your competitiveness, your, your ability to solve problems, not just grind out in the gym, but also to figure out what can I do differently? How can I pivot? What, like, what other ways can I make opportunities for myself? Because making your own luck is sort of a thing. When you're searching for opportunities, opportunities tend to find you. And at the end of the day, you don't want to be wrecked with, you know, a loss of self-esteem, a loss of your identity, you know, feeling like you were lesser than someone else because you didn't achieve some measurable goal. Like I didn't make it to the major leagues. I'm okay with that because I know my path was different than someone else. You know, there are some major leaguers that they were just the best player at every level. And then they get, you know, they go play for a top D1. Then they get drafted in the second round then they just pitch well for four years in the minors and they make it to the major leagues and they pitch well it's just like their their path wasn't easy it wasn't like it's not like they didn't work hard because they certainly did but it wasn't the same as some other guy's path who spends 10 years in the minors and maybe gets called up when he's 33 and plays one year and like there's there isn't a there's not a strong correlation with hard work at the t at the highest level and success and so you do want to put all that hard work in but at the end of the day, when people say, if you work hard, you'll get what you want, it's not true. If you work hard, it, it sets the stage for an opportunity. And then your competitiveness, your stick to your, again, your ability to find and sort of network and find your way into the door, those are things that really, really matter. And the mental factors, the mental toughness, the ability to bounce back from failures, those are the things that are really important. And at the end of the day, you want to try to look back and have a good idea of how good you were and what you accomplished. And just know that a lot of your failures weren't within your control. And that's a lot of how life is. You know, people get put in random situations all the time. People get injured. Really good people get hurt. Really great people get sick. A lot of it's not fair, right? And so the same thing is here with sports. So I hope this video helped. I really appreciate you supporting my channel, watching 10,000 subscribers is such a cool milestone. I really appreciate it. So thanks again for being here and we'll look forward to seeing you here for the next, uh, next 10,000.